YouTube, YouTube, what's up, man? I'm so glad to be back in the building with y'all boys, bro. Coming back with another video, bro. I'm trying to be consistent as ever, bro, but I be so tired, bro. But, hey, look, before I even say anything, y'all already know. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all like this video. Follow all my social media. Follow me on Instagram, barbaboy underscore 20. Follow me on TikTok at barbaboy 20. Today, man, I'm just coming with a little, like, low taper tutorial, bro. And I ain't gonna be using no guard, but y'all just sit back and watch, man. It's gonna be real clean. Alright, so first you want to start off with brushing everything into place. And then I'm gonna take my slim line pros and create that guideline. As y'all can see, like, with the tapers, I go, like, in a circular rain rainbow-type motion, like a C-type motion, as y'all can see. And basically, that's just going to create, like, a burst effect-type fade. And y'all will see that in a minute. But right now, I'm just cleaning this space. And as y'all can see, I'm not real, like, I'm not really, like, being too heavy-handed. I'm basically, like, being light-handed as possible because you don't want to leave no scars or nothing on nobody's face if you get what I'm saying. But, yeah. With the facial hair, just make sure y'all being like light hands and don't be too rough on the face. So now I'm gonna take my faded clip and I'm gonna open my liver all the way. And as y'all can see, I'm basically just using my corners going in that same C motion. So now you wanna take your clip and debug. And uh, as y'all can see, I got my liver all the way open. And I'm just going through, like being real careful. Cause like I tell y'all in every other video, you don't wanna knock too much hair out cause you can't like put it back on. So uh, when you're doing this, just make sure you're being real careful. And uh, as y'all can see, I went back to my corners and basically I'm just doing like a flick out motion, flicking out at that second line, basically trying to get it to disappear. And then after that, I'm gonna come back and like debulk some more in the like real bulky areas I see. Like you just gotta pay attention to all dark areas. Like some areas might be lighter than the other, or, you know, like you just gotta pay attention and look. So now basically I'm just gonna be, uh, Flicking the lips back and forth, like from halfway to close or anything like that, working my corners and things. Basically, it's just detail work. Uh, basically, with detail work, it's just like going back over your work, checking like little areas that you can see that need to be fixed and things like that, if you get what I'm saying. So, like, detail work is important. Just make sure you do it. But, uh, yeah, as y'all can see, man, the blend coming together. I got my lips closed. I'm just working my corners. For real, for real. That's all it is. But uh, so now I'm finna get on the lineup and you know, you know, you know, you know. Like I say in every other video, start from the middle and work your way to the left, bro. So now I take my clipper with my liver all the way up and I'm just going through trimming any overlapping half that's covering up his line up to like give it a more crispier effect. So as y'all can see, I'm turning his head towards me like to give me more of a like a straight on look type of view. Cause you don't want to like be turning your body and things like that trying to get a straight line up cause it's not going to be straight. But uh, as y'all can see, Work my way from the middle, and then I go to the left. Like I tell y'all in every other video, if you get what I'm saying, cause like that's a better, that's a better way of lining up to me instead of like starting from one end and going all the way to the other end, cause then you'll have a slanted lineup and you don't want that. All right, so with the curve or the C cut, whichever one y'all want to tie it, 
Just uh, use the cone on your blade and just go into C motion, if you get what I'm saying. That's the simplest way I can explain it to y'all, as y'all can see. I'm working my corner and I'm just doing it in like a C motion. It's simple, for real. And I said this because I be having a couple of people that be asking me, man, how you do this so perfect and things like that. And I, I'm not even, I ain't even lying to y'all, bro. I don't even do it perfect. I still be, you know, having to go back and fix it sometimes. Like, cause a person not perfect is just, practice makes improvement. So the more you practice, the more better you get. So just keep practicing, bro, you gonna get it. All right, so with the back of his hair, as y'all can see, I'm brushing down in the left direction because that's the way his hair grows. But once I start fading, I'm gonna go against the grain. All right, so now I'm gonna open my lip all the way and I'm just gonna go up half an inch, as y'all can see now. Alright, so I threw it one guard on and I got the little all the way up and I'm just gonna flick out at that second line. As y'all can see, like I told y'all, I'm gonna fade in like a right direction going against the grain, as y'all can see now. See like how I got my clipper slanted. I always like, I always check and see what direction a person hair grow in and if they hair grow like towards the left or if it grow towards the right, go against the grain because everybody have like different directions and different textures of hair and things like that just make sure you always check before you just jump into fade all right so now that i'm done with that guard now i'm just gonna come back and do my flick out motion and basically Right now, I'm just gonna be doing like detail work before I get rid of that bottom line and hitting any extra buffer areas or like dark areas or something like that, as y'all can see now. And as y'all can see, I'm really just using my corners and I'm just flicking out. I ain't really like fading. Use like a flick out motion for like when you wanna do detail because flicking out is like a soft, it's like a soft way of like getting heavy, like heavy bulky areas, if you get what I'm saying. Like the flick out, it's, it's easy. It's just basically flicking your wrist and you just like tapping at that little area that you trying to, you know, like debug basically. Alright, so now that I done did the detail work and flicked out and everything, as y'all can see, it's slowly disappearing. And Doing the detail work, use your corners and flicking out of thing like that, it's basically just gonna soften up the area so it won't be so hard to get rid of that line. Like you wanna take like easy steps so you won't overwork yourself if you get what I'm saying. All right, so right here, I just got my liver all the way open. I'm just gonna debolt that little area right there to give it a more crispier effect. All right, so we're lining up around a person's ear. Uh, try and keep it at a good length. Don't try and like, don't push up too high and have it around it. It will look like it's so high that they really don't have no hat right there. Just keep it at a good level. Like, see how I got it? Like, it's just, I don't know how to explain it, y'all. Just, just watch, bro. <laughs> just watch. So now I'm basically just gonna do the same thing to the other side. And like I tell y'all in all my other videos, I'm just gonna speed it up and let y'all watch, man.
I had to come back and just show y'all a better view of what I was saying about the C cup or the curl, whichever one y'all want to call it. But uh, as y'all can see, I'm just using my corners and I'm going in the C motion. So y'all know I like to come back and use the compressor and spray that on there. And then I come back with the fibers and add that on there. And uh, he actually didn't want the pencil. He don't like the uh, pencil on his lineup. So basically he just gonna get strictly fibers and uh, I'm gonna use the rays on his head. So y'all just sit back and watch, man. But man, you too, I'm just finna apply the holding spray. You know, the holding spray just keep everything like sticky and things like that. Then I'm gonna come back with the blow dryer and let it sit. But hey man, this is a finished cut. Y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think. And if y'all messing with this cut, man, leave a like. And uh, also, bro, I just wanna let y'all know, bro, people that watch my videos and all that, bro, like real talk, I appreciate y'all. Like real talk. Cause y'all the ones that keep me going, bro. I'm dropping this content for y'all. But hey, look though. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all like this video. Turn that post notification bell on so y'all can see when I drop new videos, man. And make sure y'all follow my social media. Follow me on Instagram at barbaboy underscore torn. And follow me on TikTok at barbaboy torn. Hey, look. Team barbaboy torn. We going up all 2022, man. We out.